Hey, it's Fletch with the Avaya Podcast Network, and this is the FCC News Bites for Wednesday, March 18th, 2015, right here on APN, the Avaya Podcast Network. Verizon has agreed to pay $3.4 million in a settlement to resolve a Federal Communications Commission investigation into the company's failure to meet its emergency call obligations that occurred during a multi-state 911 outage last year. Now, this investigation that was led by the FCC's Enforcement Bureau was related to an April 2014 911 service outage that lasted for six hours and affected wireless consumers in nine California counties who were unable to reach emergency call centers during that outage. FCC Chairman Tom Wheeler said, Americans must have confidence that they'll be able to reach 911 in an emergency. We take seriously our obligation to ensure the nation's 911 systems function reliably. We will continue to work with providers to ensure that advances in 911 technologies lead to improved communications between citizens and first responders. Reportedly, the April 2014 outage was part of a broader multi-state 911 outage that affected over 11 million people and at least 83 emergency call centers across seven states. The Verizon portion of that outage affected 750,000 California residents who were unable to call 911 and reach a live operator at 13 emergency call centers in the Northern California area. As part of the settlement, Verizon has agreed to adopt a robust compliance plan Now, this plan that's been developed in coordination with the FCC's Public Safety and Homeland Security Bureau requires Verizon to develop and implement the appropriate risk management processes in the continued rollout of next-generation 911 services. Specifically, Verizon will identify risks that could result in disruptions to 911 services, protect against such risks, detect future 911 outages, respond with remedial actions that would include notification to the affected emergency call centers, and finally, recover from such outages on a timely basis. Now, the Bureau's consent decree also requires Verizon to exercise improved oversight over its next-generation 911 subcontractors and to maintain updated contracts contact information for emergency call centers and coordinate with those emergency call centers to periodically review Verizon's outage notification procedures. And finally, Verizon will pay $3.4 million in fines to resolve the investigation. The Verizon Consent Decree, as well as the Public Safety and Homeland Security Bureau report on the April 2014 outage, are all available at FCC.gov. You can follow us on Twitter at Avaya underscore APN and check us out on the web at avaya.com forward slash APN where you can download all of our content. For the Avaya Podcast Network, this is Fletch. Thanks for listening. And we'll catch you on the next edition of FCC News Bites right here on APN, the Avaya Podcast Network. The preceding podcast has been brought to you by the Avaya Podcast Network. Executive producer, Jean Torjean, a.k.a. JT. Producer and Law Tem correspondent, Guadalupe Yugini. Our program and creative director is Fletch. And the APN legal correspondent is attorney Martha Beyer. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Avaya underscore APN. And visit avaya.com slash APN on the web, where you can download all of our content. For the Avaya Podcast Network, this is Spider Harrison, the official voice dude of APN. The preceding content is copyrighted by the Avaya Podcast Network. Broadcast or retransmission is permitted with attribution. Their actual mileage may vary. Batteries are not included. I'm a professional announcer on a closed course. Do not try this at home.